hey watch out this mod contains some flashing lights first all right whatever all right i do this intro oh wow that is loud for you guys hold on sorry wait actually no let me just keep it here because oh that's a big bar ain't it okay there's just no music Hello, everybody welcome to step right up adventure isle um or adventure i don't know what it's it's called step right up adventure isle that's what it says so that's what i'm gonna assume it's called whoa hey got your ticket i do have my ticket thank you very much gotcha welcome to adventure isle Huh? Nice. All right, already starting off dope. All right, I'm also clearly very loud. Hold on, sorry about this. I don't know, maybe I, I didn't think I was that loud. All right, hello everybody, my name is Crispy. Welcome to Step Right Up Adventure Isle. Uh, this is a horror mod, a flyer, that uh, came out like a day ago and I, I didn't see it, but this is actually one I was really excited to play. I saw it in the Funkcast, I think it was called Funkcast. There was like two F and F events back to back. Thumpers, Wheel of Wonders, Spin, Spin and Win a Prize. Is that, um, the cat from a few years ago? There's like a rupee here from Zelda. This... Okay, cool. All right, seems important. Ooh, which one of these is settings, guys? I, I, I would really appreciate. Into the gate? No, 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 seems important. You tried opening the door. It's locked. You tried forcing the door open. You suck. Try finding the key instead. Oh wow. Why is it so much louder now? That's crazy. Hold on. There's a really weird volume issue because on OBS, that's loud. And I'm trying to stay in yellow. But OBS is showing as if... Is this gonna take... Okay, this is the menu. Alright, I'm stupid. Spin? Okay, let me go to options first. Sorry about that. This is loud. Man. Or not like loud, but so you know. On. Which one? Is... This is on. Ghost tapping, auto, pa auto pause. Shaders. Sure, whatever. C. X. Comma. Period. Broken button, shelf PS, all right. Two keyholes, unfortunately you're missing the keys. Low quality, anti-alias, okay, I don't think. Can I turn up the difficulty? I think it's written on it. You're lying to me. All right, never mind. they weren't lying to me, whatever. This game is loud though. Spin? Ooh, I'm a gambler. Baby, I'm a gambler. Oh, okay, it's free play options gallery and then there's spin. I'm assuming you're supposed to just spin and play. Duck hunt. I mean, duck season. Okay. Now it's too quiet. Alright, I, I don't know, dude. Yeah, okay, let's play then. I didn't get to hear what he said because I, I was so busy turning up the volume. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm still trying to get the volumes figured out. This game's loud, but it's not loud at the same time. Sorry, it's it's so weird. Face me. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna shut up. Sorry.
What if I shoot him? I shot him? Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a little stupid. Makamla idiot. This is something small. Some slight. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. You're odd. A little weird. A little big. So, this song is apparently loud or obvious. It's not loud for me just because I have my headphones able to be turned off separately. So everything I'm saying probably just went over your head, but, you know. Duck season. I forgot about that, she gets killed. Yeah, that's crazy. The premise of that is just so sad because he had to bury his own mother. God, that's so crazy. That is so insane. He had a pistol with him though. I, I mean, a real, it's, I'm not, it's not a pistol, but you know. He had a piece with him. And he walks off looking goaded. That's crazy. I've never even seen it in my life. I don't think gameplay, hold on, sorry, sorry, so sorry, but I don't think gameplay in my voice should be the same volume, <laughs> like bro thought, but I was just too quiet, <laughs> oh my god, okay, we'll see how it looks, because right now it, it looks like moderately quiet, I might raise it a little bit more, 
and then keep my voice where it is. We'll see, dude. I don't know. All right, let's spin again. Please don't give me a character I've played against already, all right? Ooh, what's, who's this? All right, that was the peak of the loudness there, so... My voice is in the yellow range, in my... You said another dog? Smile dog, oh. Yeah, because I saw a screenshot and it was Tattletail. And that's what made me want to play this immediately. Ninten? You, why do you have a Wii U emulator? Um... Oh, Celeste. Earth, Earth, <laughs> Earth, Oh, uh, it's Undertale. Uh, Adobe. Okay. Mail. I'm not checking that. Discord. Let me go through your Discord. Steam. Bin. OBS. Peak. Peak? Peak? <laughs> um... Uh, Hollow Knight, by the way, sorry. Uh, animations. Ast... Ast... Blah. Okay. Fortnite. Real, so real. It hasn't left my computer in a while. Uh-oh. Oh, oh uh, you got me. From the left the side. Spread word? That's hard. Spread the word. Oh my god! Oh, I... I fall team. I didn't even know you were like that. Oh my... Dear god! Hey, the wind's crazy! <laughs> Automatically, yo, this might, yo, this got y'all props single-handedly. That's crazy. Oh, crap, I'm sorry.
What? Someone who knows about Smile Dog a lot can get back to me on that. I don't know much about Smile Dog. I just knew that I really didn't like him as a kid. Um, yo, that single-handedly took home the trophy for one of, if not the best songs in the mod, and I haven't even played every song. So if it gets better than this, this might go down as number one mod of the year. Like, I'm not gonna hold you. Because you can have 50 songs and they can all be good. Or at least most of them can be good. Let's hope the same doesn't happen to you. Okay. Uh, um, you can all have... Okay. You mean Nikki? <laughs> oh my god. This might... No. No, this might be the best. This might be the best. But no way. You're lying to me. Oh my god, you're lying to me. It's actually you, Maniki. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. No. I. Dude. This is. It's. Okay, alright, alright, alright. If you don't know. Oh my. Dude. <laughs> From Todd, okay. I, no way I can actually play this. Oh, dang it. Three, two, one, go! I actually wanted to move my mouse before I started. Sorry. This is the only song. Oh, is, was that the only song, or was it like a secret song? I genuinely don't know. Oh my god, that was a secret song. Huh? That's dope. Can't you get in the bed too? Wait. Do, wait, what? Three, two, one, oh whoa whoa. Go. Okay, can I restart? Sorry. Three, two, one. I should also probably mention that um, while I do know a good deal about Yui Niki, 
I'm not a super fan. I was just excited to see it, honestly, because I don't see it mentioned. So I have no idea who these two are. Not the top of my mind, at least, because I... It, admittedly, I did straight you and Miki like a year ago. so cool. Look at those icons. I, I haven't played you Miniki in a while, so it's... This might be like a sequel thing. And when it comes to the sequel, I don't know much about that. Whoa. the guy from it's a secret uh from battle block theater i can't remember it's that's the, that's the only reason i know a bit no that's not him it's a, it's a little different do i know me I, of course i know me i'm me i have to know me and if i don't know me then i'm not me Wake up is brutal, okay. Press nine.
Oh my god, this song just keeps going. <laughs> like, a lot. I don't mean in the bet. Wait. Press enter. Wh what? Does this show have phases? Okay. I was gonna say, bro, <laughs> y'all were kind of killing it there. Oh, I was like, this is like a, a three parter. Golly. That was like three songs of. That's a hard though. I love that. That was so fun. Until it got creepy, and then it got awesome. Let's spin the wheel. What do we get? I hope it doesn't duplicate. Okay, because I think this is the last threat until the question mark, right? And this is Mama Tattletail, I think, right? Keep those lights on, kid. You're gonna need them. Some subtitles would be helpful, by the way, um, because the volume, like, it's weird here. Because I'm struggling between trying to keep it up there and then down for me. You know, it's like weird. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, this game. I played this game for a video re late, like recently, but then I never released the video because I'm not going to lie to you, I just didn't care. I first tried the final boss. Um, I wish I had proof of that, but I think I blew the bitch. You see, the better I maybe it was because of Kaleidoscope. Uh, I think I played Kaleidoscope and I just stopped playing because I didn't care. That's loud. Sorry. Whoa, that's, that's dope. Sorry, this is loud. I'm so sorry. I didn't think it was going to be that loud. Okay, we got this. Sorry.
That's it? No! <laughs> Dang it, that's the last time Tattletail's gonna be mentioned. Oh, uh, wow. Oh. oh, hey, the guy's gone. Why is it spinning faster? Hey, you can stop the wheel, you know. It doesn't have to keep going. I hope you know you can stop the wheel, right? You you can do it. Oh. Somebody mad I told them how to do it. That scared me, I can't lie. That actually, that made me jump. Oh, what? Are we going straight to the song? Look what I started. Is this, um, cat? The, the cat? Oh my god! Yes. My three key- Oh my god! It's fake? Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! Look out. I got you. I know. No, oh, okay. Sometimes you can interact with things with the uh the cru the crucifix, so that's what I was thinking about it. Dude. Oh. Billy! Is that what his name is? Billy, right? I need three keys. I've gotten two. I need another one. Oh my god. I pressed spacebar and it didn't appear and I got scared. Bob must have stationed, must must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask um, uh, a niche about it next time we we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a gray rabbit doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. I don't actually know where to go, so your your guess is as good as mine, truly. Billy, I swear if you pop out and show me, bruh. It's a tree. God, hi Billy. There's a tree in the center of the screen, but... Okay, we are literally just playing Faith now. Hello everybody, welcome to- My name's Chris, we're welcome to Faith. Whoa, whoa, I couldn't read that. Alright, well, you can pause and read it. <laughs> God dang it, and I wanted to read that too. Where's the other key? I'm starting to get concerned. I actually don't know where the other key is because I'm bad at I'm bad at searching. Oh hey, the house. Do I need three keys? No. Well I do, but it was one in the shack. What, where was one of them? It's behind the house? No. At me. I can't go past the the, the house because it also won't let me. The well, thank you, God, jeez, dude. Thank you, three keys, finally. Okay, that took a calm la minute. That took like five minutes, but I, I, you know, five, ten minutes maybe, but I, I got it. I'm just gonna cut between me, me getting the key and me going back to the house. Um, because that took way too long, like seriously way too long. 
I'm not gonna sit here and have you guys watch as I struggle. Oh wow. Uh, what's his name? Father Martin gonna show up or whatever his name is? Or no, his name's not Father Martin. <laughs> Where did I get that name from? That's my fake name. Thank you. 
boy, bro. That's my dog. That's hard. There's nothing harder than this. Please tell me they hit that dab. <laughs> Faith, the unholy trinity. That is so hard. That's hard. Oh, I'm so... Oh my god. Yo. Chat. Chat, that was gas. That was gas. That was gas. Oh my god. Codename Evil. What's Codename Evil? Um, which one was that? Whatever, I don't care. That was, and I think there's more, by the way. Um, that was gas. Smile dog. It's in, um, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. I'll look at that later. I don't care. Oh my gosh, that was by far one of the greatest months I've played this year. This is one of the, no, this is definitely the best mod I've played this year. Um, that was, that was outstanding. I just watched. I basically just watched some of the top best horror games or media horror media let's say horror media i just watched some of the best horror media with some of the most banger songs i've seen in a minute this is like tugging a string man golly are we done yet thanks for playing no, thank you for playing. Um, that was gas. Oh, you're back. You could have done your job a little bit better. Okay, so... Nikki, Tattletale, Fate, Fate. Dude, I wanna see, what's the artwork for this? That is so good. Hold on, let me look at all of these. NASA. Let's guess. Mm. 
gas. Come face me. That's hard. Um, okay. So I do know that there's actually... I do know that there's a few things. Contestants and anomalies. Contestants. Let's go into the contestants. David is... Okay, well, I'll read through all of this. This is kind of hurting my ears, though. All right. <clears throat> Wait, sorry. This music is loud. Sorry. David is a 14-year-old boy from the game Duck Season. He's an average kid who loves video games, spending his free time glued to his TV. One summer day, his mom brings home a rental called Duck Season, a seemingly innocent hunting game. As David delves deeper into the game, he begins to notice something off about the virtual hunting dog. The dog, initially a cheerful companion, starts exhibiting strange and menacing behavior until it starts to become a more dangerous and very real threat. David's once fun-filled days take a uh, dark turn as... I press the down key. Um, as, uh, uh, as, I can't be trusted to do anything, good god. Dude's once fun filled days take a dark turn as he uncovers the sinister secrets lurking within Duck Season, pulling him into a terrifying adventure where his survival instincts are put to the test. We're gonna go through every single last one of these and then we'll end off with whatever I haven't played, which I don't know what I haven't played, so. Madatsuki is a protagonist of the very weird and interesting game Yume Niki. As a reclusive young girl, she spends her days to herself in her small apartment, where her nights are filled with strange and vivid dreams. Through, uh, through, her, through her dreams, Madatsuki enters the dream world. She explores bizarre and often unsettling landscapes, each filled with cryptic symbols, messages, and mystery, mysterious creatures. We don't know where it is, or how she can travel here, or where it came from, but being that she's silent and always by herself, we do know her only interactions come through her dream world, where she encounters strange beings and collects various effects that alter her period, appearance and abilities. Her journeys are both a quest for under understanding and an escape from the confines of her waking life. Madosuke's dreams, uh, ex dream exploration reveal a deeply symbolic narrative, hitting at hit hidden traumas and emotions. She is a vessel for the player's imagination, offering a unique and immersive experience for each and every player in the in enigmatic universe of in uh, Yumi Nikki. Awful reading. I cannot stand. I cannot stand being a reader. Sarah Taylor, Little Rock, Arkansas. I didn't. I didn't read the other locations for the one, so don't don't bother. So, uh, Sarah Taylor is a 23-year-old college student with an insane curiosity for the unknown. During the day, she's diligent working towards her degree at the university, but at night, she's just an urban legend hunter. Sarah's fascination with the eerie and unexplained has led her to chase stories like Smile Dog, haunted game cartridges, and other uh, creepy tales that lurk in the darkest corners of the internet, armed with her trusty camera, her computer, and a notebook filled with ponies. All right. Sarah ventures into uh, abandoned buildings and old shops, dense forests, uh, forgotten alleyways and always on the lookout for her, her next paranormal encounter. Her dedication to uncovering the truth behind these legends has earned her a reputation among fellow enthusiasts who er eagerly follow her blog and social media for updates on her latest adventures. Despite the occasional scare, Sarah thrives on the adrenaline and the thrill of the hunt. Her passion for the urban legends is more than just a hobby, it's a way of life that keeps her constantly exploring the thin line between reality and the supernatural. Who knows what she might find in Adventure Isle Park. John Ward and Father Garcia. Yeah, I called him Father Martin on accident, whatever. Um, on the night of September 21st, 1986, two priests entered a lonely house in the heart of a sprawling forest in Sterling, Connecticut. Their goal? Exercise the demon inside Amy Martin. John Ward's life was full of trouble from the beginning. Born in the 1950s, he was raised as a devout Christian, and at a young age, his parents both mysteriously disappeared. After going through foster care services, John ended up in an orphanage inside the Snake Meadow High Hill Church. It was in that orphanage that he met his wife, Lisa Pearson, and got kidnapped by one of the orphanage's caretakers. Throughout all of the trials of his childhood, one powerful thing kept him going, his faith in God. In his 30s, John lived a remarkably normal life, serving as a Catholic priest under the Vatican. Although he made quick friends with Lisa, his childhood trauma led to his adult life being largely secluded. All, all of this would change when Father Alred, professional uh, exorcist, I don't know why I struggle to say professional. A professional exorcist requested his assistance in the exorcism of Amy Martin. 
Fortunately, the exorcism failed. Father Alred and the entire Martin family were killed by the demon possessing Amy, and John, overwhelmed and petrified, selfishly straight to deal with a mysterious, unholy fig un question mark holy figure, he would leave the Martin's house alive. But he would leave the Martin's house alive. I'm so sorry I said that weirdly. But Amy would forever be a vessel for unspeakable forces. Almost one year later, John now settled down and living peacefully with his wife Molly would be subject to a harrowing nightmare in which Amy begged for him to return and finish the job he had failed to complete. He once again donned his priest outfit and collar and drove to the Martin's dilapidated house in the woods. The events that would occur over the next month would push John's faith to its limits, but in the end he completed the exorcism and rid Connecticut of the demonic forces that had so pervasively stood against him. It is often said that God, for, God gives his hardest battles to his strongest warriors. John certainly was one of his best. That's so hard. But we didn't get to hear anything about John, um, Father Garcia. Um, <clears throat> Dios mio. Uh, yeah, I was, I was thinking his um, his cross was gonna turn copper throughout the song because that's how it, that's what it does in the game. Anyway, Ruby. This is a fan made character because I don't think we ever got a confirmation on who the actual character is. Anyway. I do like the design though. You would think that being an only child, 12 year old Ruby lived, huh, Ruby, lived a lonely life, but you would be wrong. Ruby always had an affinity for toys and strangely they seemed to be her, be naturally drawn to her. Her favorite toy of all, however, was the one she didn't have, a baby talking tattletale. All the kids at school had one and she was an outlier, but on Christmas day all of that would change, or would have if impatient Ruby hadn't opened her gift five days early. It's a lot of reading. That's actually a lot of reading, and um, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really bad at reading. Oh, Lord, that's so many. Wait, oh, one, two, three. Oh, four, oh, oh, oh. Silly me. All right, whatever. That's a lot of reading. All right, let's get to it. <clears throat> you don't get anywhere by complaining. Bam. Okay, sorry, sorry. The first toy in the Way Getter Electronics title tale line, she sat on the shelves in the 90s until the incident happened one tragic Christmas morning with one of those pseudo maternal death traps. Something about a child's eye being gnawed out the skull. Poor kid couldn't, couldn't unclamp the. Wow, okay. Jaws. Thankfully, they're off the shelves now. Good riddance. Never liked them anyway. However, Way Getter did end up releasing the title tale shortly after the mama recall. Uh, how they were able to cover up the attention on the mama case with that is beyond me, but those little things have done them even more lucrative wonders than the mamas did. Apparently they're safer than the mamas, but they're too annoying for me to give them the benefit of the doubt. For more info, please find the Grade B Archives folder. Dope, but I- does that mean I have to- there's another thing I have to find? Amy Martin and Michael Davies are antagonists- that's- but- wait, I'm sorry. Have I been calling him- hold on. I have to check something real quick. Have I been calling him Billy this entire time? Hold on. Um, sorry, I'm checking this right now. This would be unedited because I, I really wanted to stay and know that I, I'm just stupid. Oh. I literally called him Billy. Why did I call him Billy? Why did I call him the- Okay, whatever. Sorry. I called him Billy the entire time. Being that that was his name. This shows how long it's been since I've indulged in Faith. Um, it actually realistically has been like a good few months since I even mentioned Faith by mouth. So I guess, yeah. Back on topic. Amy Martin and Michael Davies are antagonists in the Faith series. Amy was possessed by a demon after going to a clinic and after a failed exorcism from John Ward, she escaped and became part of a, de a dark ritual called the Second Death. Now, all Amy's possessions ha all Amy's possession has done is be a reminder to John of how he failed, and she haunts his dreams. Michael Davies, also known as the Chupacabra, was a teenager who became the thin, pale creature after being possessed by an unnamed demon and being trapped in a basement for three months. During an exorcism attempt, he broke free and fled, destroying anything in his path. Michael harbors a deep hatred for anyone dressed like a priest because of his cap uh, captor, Father Garcia, who resembled one. Huh. Dupe. Nasu. Alright. The dream world is extremely vague. It is the other world you can explore in New Miniki. 
It's a very simple place where you collect eggs that spawn in these different dimensions. The story behind the dream world is extremely vague, if there even is one. It's very clear to see there's something not quite right about the world, but it makes it that much more interesting. The main people encountered in this world are Mono, Monoko, Oniko, and Uboa. Little is known about any of them, but we are still looking for more clues to this day. Langford Summer Killer of the Hound of Langford. Oh, I didn't know he had a real name, but just called him the dog. Langford Summer Killer of 88. Although his killings only lasted that summer, his legacy has lived on for decades. He was known to wear a mascot costume based on that dog from Duck Hunt. His, huh, Duck Hunt. His, I thought they would say Duck Season. Or, yeah, Duck Season, because technically, whatever. His preferred method was the classic old knife, like a true slasher villain in the flesh. Despite the surveillance footage of his killings being available to the public, technically at least if you search deep enough to the archives, they still couldn't salvage enough evidence off the guy or girl, no hate, to, <laughs> to ever uncover their identity, let alone their traces. No one knows where they went, who they were, and if they're even still alive. Were they from out of town? Were they a resident of Langford? Guess we'll never know. Dear reader, for more info, please find the Grey B archives folder. Jesus, those renders are gas, bro. Hold on, those renders are strange. Husk, uh, man, those are hard. Um, husky, de husky, demon, and dragon. The chat room evils who came into existence just half a year ago. Although we may be powerless to these three entities, we've at least been studying them to our best capacity. Although we can only do so much considering we're not exactly the CIA or anything. We're, just, we're college students. We have bills to pay. All three simply demand their victims that they spread the word by sending their respective image through emails or chat rooms. Lest they be killed, each evil has a different style of killing. Uh, interestingly enough, with Husky freezing his victims alive, Demon burning its victims alive, and Dragon driving its victims into that... I don't know if... I don't... I don't get monetized, never mind. Dragon driving its victims into suicide. It's no question that these things are to be feared and, sh and treated with caution. If you still want to use any chat rooms, proceed with some dang caution, please. When you spread the word to those that you trust will comply. Do not spread anything to people who will refuse to continue the psyching. Psyching? Cycle. You will kill them. The blood will be on your hands. Trust me. For more info, please find the Grave VR soldier. Y'all keep telling me to find this dang folder. I don't know where it is. And I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> Very clearly. I'm sorry if you can tell. I'm missing the keys. All right. So it very clearly looks like I need to look for the keys real quick. I don't even think this is the last of the songs. I think there's more, but I... I Three, two, one. Okay, Canadian. That's by far the most strange thing I've seen yet.
Is that Jake? Okay. Oh, all right. That was the uh, the 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 secret song in there. Um, I am, however, not knowing what the keys are. So, okay. All right. So, free play. If I go to Smile Dog and I hit enter. Sorry, I'm I have to look at the video while I'm doing this because apparently No way. You're actually kidding me. Um uh, Okay. Oh, I don't actually know. I I don't know if I want to do that. Oh my god, I don't know if I want to do that, dude. That's <laughs> I can't lie. I would have to beat the entire mod again. As good as this mod is, I don't want to beat it twice. Um like I really don't want to do this in one sitting. Um because that's a lot of work, but what you would do is you would click here and you would hit the the trash can. Um, so keyword of advice, if you're going to play this, do it, get, hit this one first. Okay, don't, because then you have to play the entire song, and it's, it's a lot. And I have to, okay, I get it. I have to hit every note, and then I have to close all the windows. All right, my mouse is going to stay in the center here. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Because y'all are killing me. We were like a minute and 30 seconds. We're, we're a minute and 30 in, almost. I'm in a minute and 30. We're an hour and 30 in. I've totally just tried to hit everything. All right. This is be like actually kind of difficult. I can't miss a single note and I can't, can't let anything go untouched.
I'm hitting the my right key like consistently. I don't. I think the song's over. I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. And okay, we're we're back to black. Okay. All right. I'm enough. All right. I, I don't even care if that's the last song. I think that's the last song. That was phenomenal. Um. I would appreciate it though if they made it so I could get to the secret song a little bit easier. Jesus Christ. I remember the first time I was trying to put it in. Um I was hitting I, I had to keep going to credits and watching the credits. Um community games some says something like, oh, trying to beat the game again or something like that. You don't have to beat the game again. Just hit the trash can, exit out the song, and then go to the credits. And that's all you have to do. And there's no need to beat the game again. I thought you had to beat the game, and that was yeah, no but the way to get to this song is you you go to the smile dog song you click on the email and where it says send you look to the right and it says trash air has a trash can icon you just click the trash can and then you start the song when you, the first uh chance you have to escape the song uh go to your pause menu and then just go back to the menu hit credits and then just watch the credits and your, your thing will be there um i'm only going to keep it my third try because like on my third try at this song because the first and second try are kind of stupid um and i tried to open this song like four times and it did not work four times i don't know how i got it to work but i, I did so if you like this video make sure you like come subscribe please show you what some love show this developer some love and i'll see you guys